Fine. All this body, he's wasting it because we don't even have sex. So stop all your rubbish. With all this mozu, <laughs> with all this mozu, all this energy, poor and choma. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Obashala. I am a content creator in Lagos, Nigeria, and today I am here with another video. I am super hyped about this video because I have never done anything like this before and it is going to be a reaction video if you don't know or if you are I don't know yet yeah, there's something that is trending right now which is blue therapy but well, blue therapy is like a relationship therapy section whereby couples that are in a relationship come together to just talk about their disputes and yeah all of those other stuff and yeah without any delay let's go straight right into the video so there are two couples two sets of couples yeah two set of couples right now in the therapy section and guys this this old therapy team is really really crazy because first of all i don't know if i'll go on therapy with someone i'm in a relationship with yeah choma is in a relationship with paul that is choma and they've been dating for about three years yeah they've dated for three years they moved in together six months ago and she's trying to you know explain what she has been experiencing even with Paul for the past six months. But Paul likes it when he gets home from work and food is ready. Since I've moved in with Paul, he now wants me to cook every time I have time. In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, every, every second weekends when I come back from work. Honestly speaking, he was eating prior to me moving in, so I don't understand what's going on. First of all, like, that is one disadvantage. Like, I feel like if you are not married to someone, first, okay, you can move, depending on the person, I don't want you to misinterpret, but one thing I don't like about when you move in with someone without getting married to the person is that, and they start using you anyhow. When you move in with someone and they start using you anyhow, you wash, you do their laundry, you go cook for them. Why? Because I feel even if she deciding to move in with them, they should be like, I'm not married to you yet. So like, slow down on whatever, like, I'm not your housemaid now. He likes fresh meals. I'm not gonna cook for you every day, I'm not your chef. Wafers. So Paul does not eat food from the freezer. He loves fresh meals. And then, with twist. And Choma is doing all the cooking every time afresh. Cooking fresh meal. It couldn't be me. <laughs> It's okay, Let me tell you one of my biggest problems. He's kind of denounced our cultural foods. Oh. Yes. So he has issues with the fact it's oily. Even though he eats ice cream and he has takeout, he finds it um, too heavy. You don't have to eat it during the week, but on Sundays, for example, we can have a, a, a dinner. We could have some African dishes. So where Paul is Nigerian and is, he does not like he doesn't like Amalan, Are you joking? Because there's a difference between like you not, you know, not like you don't like it, but probably at that particular time you don't feel like eating it. But you're now saying that you don't eat it at all. Wait first, wait first. If, if you if you watched the previous you know episode, you know that Paul is like trying to feel among, as Choma has said, I don't know. Like Paul is trying to live high standard. Like he's forming bougie. He's trying to be bougie by force. I feel like that's the problem here, because... Well, like with Choma's diet, she doesn't take it seriously. Um, you know, considering what I do, the people I work with and the results that I get, the results I've got for myself, I think that should kind of motivate her to want to take her diet more seriously, but she doesn't. And that's basically a red flag to me. Red flag to you? I don't understand. Well, um, based on diets, right now, I don't think Choma is fat. I don't think she needs to lose weight to look good or to please you or a red flag like i don't i don't understand what what red flag is 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 doing in this in this context because you can eat anything you want i feel the problem is that the problem choma is trying to portray is that she does all the cooking but he's seeing it like it's like he's seeing it from just the perspective of the like african dishes but i feel you should see it like he should also get something doing don't leave me to do all the old and he's saying red flag, like I don't, I don't get it. 
Okay, funny how like in this therapy section, I have a problem with a girl. I am so sorry, but like, I'm not saying you should not like money. If you watch the first and second episode, the third one, you know what I'm talking about. But if you have not watched it, don't worry, relax. I'll explain to you. So I feel Deborah is. One, first of all, our um, understanding, our perspective, like our family background is really an hindrance in this relationship. I'm not saying you should not like good things. I'm not saying that you should not. But I feel like the main purpose of you being in a relationship is to get married. And on the long term, you have to like work with your goals together if you want it to last like at, at a very tender age. Because both of them, they are not, they are not like... They are, they are adults and they can court for two years and then get married. They can date for five years and get married. Date for three years and get married. So I feel like Deborah is really, she loves money. My girl loves to ball. She loves to chill. She wants the baby girl lifestyle. It's not bad. Okay, everyone loves baby girl lifestyle. But one way or the other, you have to, you have to calm down. A little, just, you know, it's not if you like someone the person might not be able to afford something it's not like you are settling for less or whatever it's not like and on and, and this context it can afford it it's not like you cannot afford it but it's just trying to save up that's it so you should not you know look at it like okay it has to spend it has to like supply all your needs mm -mm. You should understand when he says it's seven. You should understand when he says I can't do this at this time. It's not like he does not do it. So you should understand that oh at this particular time oh, he cannot do it. But Deborah Zone is not like that. My girl loves to chill. She loves a bougie lifestyle. Okay. He told me that he was training a client. Sure and was. Actually, he wasn't. He was just at his boy's house. Now he wasn't actually doing anything wrong. But you said you were training a client, but you were at your friend's house. It's just little things like that. It's dishonesty. I you know that the fact that guys lie without any tangible reason, like what, like why? I'm not saying girls don't lie. Hey, hey, please don't. If it's like you tell me the truth now, will I beat you? Or some people lie. See this online thing. Another time. But if they're not, if the calories are not calculated. You're just filling your gut and you don't even know what's going on. Can you calculate like the calories in a goosey soup? I don't know. <laughs> when I say this guy is, is this guy wants to be bougie like by force. This is what I'm talking about. Like he wants to be, to be an evil man. <laughs> he should just be a white man. Maybe you could prepare the food in a more healthy way that would be more suited I'm not to gonna the way Paul the food. wants to eat. Who? I'm not gonna remix jollof rice or remix um, pan de Lee, uh, wait, wait first, can you, I don't, we all, I understand um, Denise, I think Denise is the, um, the therapist, but then you can't, you can't remix, how you want to make a four and a goosey? and you have you do it another way you can't do it in another way like that is the that is the guideline now but regardless of the money i have i will still love to eat pounded yam regardless of the money i have i will still love to eat good you know assorted with five five lives you know shaki pomo brokoto ah in I would still love to eat that. It's this whole kind of Afrocentric type of, oh, go back to Africa, I'm African and I'm proud. Yeah, we're all proud to be African. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time... So just because of food now, just because of, just because I just want to eat um, semo or I just want to eat this, and you're telling me I have like this Afrocentric Asian mentality. So most of the people you train, do you actually know them? Um, there's a couple. Yes. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Denise, but yeah, that's the answer. We'll get. Yeah, there's a couple I do know personally. Okay. Um, one being my ex. With, uh, I'm managing, Denise, managing. Okay, have you met her then? Yeah, I mean, first of all, it couldn't be me because why would your ex be, why would you be training your ex? 
are they are there other trainers now no no there are other i will tell you in a calm voice because like other she can use your gym you can't even use the same gym because you have it's neither you go to another gym or yeah you have to go to another gym because and then you are a trainer i i, I don't like that well, at the start, when Jamal told me that he was training his ex, I didn't really feel too comfortable, but I met her at like a party or something, and you know, she was pretty cool. And for that reason, you know, I was able to make peace with the fact that he's training her. So yeah, I'm okay with it. If I'm not trusting his interaction with his general clients, his ex where they have history. It's actually true, Sha, because I'm sure they'll have had that conversation. It couldn't be me because if you and your ex, you are doing gym together, it couldn't be me, she does It couldn't be me because it's neither you pick, it's, you have to change your gym because I'll help, I'll complain every time and I'm sure you'll be uncomfortable and you have to pick another gym because imagine I am my ex now, you know, in the same gym or he's the instructor and he's instructing me. How would Jamal feel if, um, Debra is going to the gym and her ex is the instructor. You know, men don't really think like this. But I'm sure that we even she Debra will not go to that gym again, trust me. Jamal will tell her not to go to the gym again, trust me. But then you know ladies just we're just too calm. What was that? Um the same way I allowed it to Afro Nation. Uh, so it is a party island sort of uh, catered for Afro beats. And you're both going now, are you? Um, no, she's going by herself. Oh, is she? <laughs> are you? With her friends, I guess. Wait, can we just rewind? Um, first of all, you you trust me, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're not allowing me to go Afro Nation because... Yes, I'm allowing you to go Afro Nation. No, that's what we're not going to do. Wait, hold on. Do you remember what happened the year before you went and all the stories that you came to fill me in? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was a good year, but at that point I was single, yeah. so... True. Wait, let's clarify this. I... Why can't they go Afro Nation together? Why is it like, is it one-sided thing? And I feel like, okay, fine. If Jamal should tell Debra not to go, she would not probably go. Uh, me allowing Deborah to go because I trust her. That's what it's all about, right? I've got something for you. One second, I'm just going to quickly. Jamal, I'm going to need you to please read to Denise what it says on there because I don't want to embarrass you. So just, you know, please, I, I need you to, to read it. Because you said you wasn't going to Afro Nation, isn't it? You said you wasn't going to Afro Nation. Jamal, just read it. Take your phone back, man. Jamal, can you read it, please? Ah, uh, cool. Just says, thank you for. <laughs> Thank you for your order. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? mm? Order for what? No, it's for. Okay, Denise, so um, this is an Afro Nation ticket, the event that Jamel said he's not actually attending. Says, thank you for your order, Jamel. Please ensure you retain a copy of this email and use your order ID in all correspondence regarding this order for Afro Nation 2021. This is dodgy as fuck. Like, when I first. Wait. Mm -mm. wait, wait, wait. So Jamal was telling Debra not to go. Like, why is she going to Afro Nation? You guys saw it. And now Jamal also booked or paid, bought a ticket for Afro Nation. So what? Wait, first. Let's let's let's. What's he when he told Debra not to go? She was like. Okay, she's not going to go, but then he already bought a ticket. Why did you, why did you, uh, why did you talk against it and now he has a ticket? Are you joking? Because this is violence, like, I'll fight, I'll fight you. Wait first, why, why did he do that? It does not make sense that he's going like I'm not being funny you thinking when did he actually think when he did this because what do you expect to happen when Afro Nation actually happens it's very very strange it's another reason why I don't trust him so you are going Jamel obviously didn't know that I actually saw a screenshot of the ticket for this festival that he said he's not going to so now when I say you're shady do you understand babe it's not that oh. no 
no i liked jamal i liked jamal but no no like why will you say you're not going somewhere okay it is bad you already bad mounted the whole thing that oh it is bad blah 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 and then you bought a ticket and you're going to why did you why did you why I, like why did you talk against this why did you bad mouth it and then you are going for the same thing after telling me not to go because surprise me oh, one more surprise now you're being childish because you were no, going because you had ulterior yeah, motives and you didn't sim- want to tell me wait, <laughs> wait surprise so he's thinking that Debra will buy the line why are you lying surprise her wait my ulterior motives listen I'm you really surprised you're having a good time to be fair listen what you did was you mentioned the fact that in 2019 yeah. crazy stuff was happening as a, as, as, as a guy who has a girlfriend you cannot wait wait my my scar oh this is giving me I'm itching because first of all you told me not to go you told me that oh okay I'm, I fed you with lie like um, they do bad stuff there. You told me not to go. Okay, the old snap. Well, how what, what people do, and then you bought your own ticket that you are going. Do you know how shady? Do you know? How, do you know? Do you know how crazy this thing is? This thing can cause a breakup. Because why will you tell me not to do something and then you are doing it? Or why will you tell me not? Okay, don't go somewhere, and then you are going to the place. Ha! We are going to break up. If this ever happens, like, this is crazy. The fact that it's 2009. And then you're lying, you're lying that you want to surprise me. Like, do you think I'm stupid or something? Why are you lying? You can easily cook for yourself. Because again, like I said, I don't mind if you eat that, but just make it yourself. Or we do it on a Sunday. Yeah. If, if I had the time. On a Sunday? <sighs> Go on. Okay. Or you just choose not to? No, no, no. To be fair, you know, Sunday, the day of the rest and stuff. Okay, cool. But if I have a client and they have, you know, a fashion show coming up, uh, one of the models I train, basically, I need to make sure that I'm on her case to make sure that she's getting the job done. You know, if, if I have another client, for instance, in terms of like a website design... Who are you I, lying I to? to? Who are you lying to? Because remember, Denise doesn't live with us. I live with you to know you have time. Okay, I'm not saying you're not you're not busy, but you are, babe. I get that, but you have time. You can make time during the day. He he knows he can. So what are you lying about? You have time to cook, Paul. Okay, okay. I I I, I could find all this body. He's wasting it because we don't even have sex. So stop all your rubbish. Ooh. Wait, wait. Rewind. What? His body, he's wasting it because he we don't even have sex, so stop all your rubbish. So with all this muzzle, <laughs> with all this muzzle, all this energy, Paul and Kyoma, Paul Lux, yes, is so with all this muzzle. May we oh <laughs> with all this muzzle, with all this you know, with all this swag, with all this physique, with all this physique, nothing is coming home. Oh, nothing is showing forth. So with all this physique now, you are telling me that Choma, oh, that <laughs> Choma is trying to tell me that Choma is oh, wonders shall never cease. So guys, this will be the end of this video. Don't be like Paul. I just feel like, you know, Paul is giving me a dick. And I like Jamal, but, you know, ja- why would you get a ticket to a place where you condemned? That doesn't add up. <sighs> Men, you know, you guys should just change your ways because Jesus is coming soon. Don't break anybody's heart. And yeah, if you like this video and if you want me to do more reaction video, please comment down below. Just let me know your thoughts about this. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more. And don't forget also to turn on your post notification, which is that tiny bell down below, in order to know when I post a new video. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.